Tip number 44. When doing placement under BGA, first only check where the free space is and then do it again. You know, when you place uh, a BGA on your PCB, you need to place usually some components from the other side of the PCB. What kind of components you may want to place under the BGA? For example, decoupling capacitors, yeah? Have a look. Here is a power page of a processor and here you can see many, many decoupling capacitors. They all need to be placed under the BGA, under the processor. And usually you may need to place there some other components like, I don't know, reference resistors or series termination resistors, this kind of components. So there is only very limited space under the BGA, how we are going to place there all these components. Or maybe place there the components is not so difficult, but also to connect them. That's the difficult part, yeah? Place the via and connect these components. I do it in two steps. In the first step, what I basically do, do you remember the tip? In the first step, I check where the free space is. And in the second step, I do it again. So in the first step, I go and I take the components which need to be under the BGA and I place them just uh, under the pins or close to the pins where they need to be placed. I take the components and place them close to the pins like you can see here. This is uh, a screenshot from uh, my advanced PCB layout course because I don't have any project where I could uh, show you the status of the, you know, uh, placement under BGA. So I just took this screenshot from the course and here you can see how I'm placing the components in the step one. Yeah, I take them from the schematic and or select them in the schematic and place them just under the pins where they should be. Yeah. The thing is uh, this is not the proper way to do placement. There is something uh, not good with this placement. They are placed under the pins but in reality, they cannot be placed this way. Why? Because there is no space for the vias. Yeah? Between these uh, components, you need to place there the vias. So in reality, they need to be spread, these components. So why I do the first step? Why I just don't place these components uh, properly and just, you know, leave the step one and uh, just done? Why I just don't do the step two? Because the first step, placing the components where they should be, placing them under the pins where they should be, it's very quick. Yeah, you go to schematic, select the components, place them under the processor. And uh, when you place all the components which need to be on under the processor, you will see where is the free space. And then I take all these components away from the board, I place them away from the board and do it again. But this time I know where is the free space. So I know when I place the vias, like you can see here, and uh, I, started, I start placing the components and there is no space, I know which direction I can continue with the placement of the components because I know there will be the free space. That's why I do it in two steps and it helps a lot. Yeah? First step is very quick. It may look like it's a additional work. It's not. It, hel it will help you. You will see if you try it. So don't forget tip number 44. When doing placement under BGA, first only check where the free space is and then do it again. Why? When placing the components the second time, you will know which direction you have some free space.